We want to solve this radical equation. In order to do that, we need to get the radical by itself on one side of our equation. So I'm going to subtract 3 from the other side of the equation. That allows us now to square both sides of the equation, which allows this square root and square power to cancel each other out to eliminate our radical. So that on the left, we just have 2x minus 3. On the right, we have to actually multiply x minus 3 times itself. So we have 2x minus 3 equals x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. Or 2x minus 3 equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now we want everything on one side of our equation. So we have the x squared and a minus 6x, but I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides to make it minus 8x. And then I had plus 9, but I'm going to add 3 to both sides, so this will become plus 12. And so to solve this, we need to factor it. We know the first terms will be x and both signs will be negative. And to get a negative 8 in the middle, 6 and 2 would be the factors I would want. So I have x minus 6 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 6 and x equals 2. But with radicals, even when you do everything correctly, sometimes one of them will not work or both of them will not work. So we always need to check our answer. Substituting 6 in, 6 times 2 is 12, minus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, plus 3 is 6. So 6 checks out, so we know 6 is one of the solutions. When we try 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1, plus 3 is 4. It's not equal to 2, so that's not a solution. So x equals 6 would be the solution to this equation.